Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Cecilia and I just love new art supplies. And today we're gonna review this weird watercolor I got from Singapore. I've talked a little bit about it on my previous video. So it's Mungyu watercolor color chip. Basically it's watercolor but in sheets. They have 12 colors as you can see here. These are the colors and on the back of the packaging we can see another info about this. It says the color is discharged when contacted with water and light and convenient card type watercolor make your artistic sense to be expressed anytime anywhere and it made up of 12 colors and you can see vivid and transparent colors. Okay so yeah that's interesting. Also you can see this made in Korea. Okay so let's open this up and see the inside. Let's try to open it up but I I think it would be better if we put the ring first and now you can watch me struggling to find out how to open this ring up seriously I don't know how to open this up okay it's time to give up and ask for my husband's help he did open it up after some struggle as well now I can just put this here um yeah I feel like a little bit struggling over here as well I'm trying to close it up now okay yeah now it's almost there click okay that's it now let's see the cards here it is yeah i think this first one is a blank sheet or something i don't know this is just like a color card or something and on the back is i think it's the palette and again now you're watching me like struggling on how to use this maybe like this um and yeah um and I just realized this is actually white color, not a blank sheet. <laughs> and there are more information about the colors on the back of the cards. But this one is a little bit, a little bit con confusing. Okay, this um, they have one page that is upside down. And I think the rest are okay. It's not upside down, just that one page. I don't know why. Maybe, yeah, I don't want to guess anyway. Okay let's just do the colors so i've prepared this already for 12 colors and let's start i'm using damp brush and just um scrubbing on the sheets you can see that the color is already out and put them on my paper um yeah the color is a little bit opaque i think anyway i just continue to do every single color of this and i already struggled here um how can i flip the cards without you know i mean like how am i gonna flip into other cards when it's still wet um yeah anyway i want to show you this blue see the card has more texture than the others maybe it's granulating i don't know so yeah back to the swatches um it's too late for me but i think we can do it like this so the wet cards won't touch the back of the other card so yeah i i didn't think of it before now back to the colors let's do a wet on dry blending test here i think the colors are a little bit opaque so i add extra water just like the equal watercolor before okay next we are doing the first layer of the glazing test here i'm doing the horizontal lines of each colors there are 12 colors in total so it's 12 lines they're gonna need some time to dry so we're gonna do the wet on wet blending test here it's kind of like also granulating test i think so i take the colors right from the cards not pants this time and just put them onto the wet paper over here and now the black and i put white at last okay the first layer of the glazing test is dry now we can do the second layer again i put all 12 color on vertical lines this time and yeah now we're done okay first i want to talk about this this yeah whatever this is honestly i don't think it's compact it is small and easy to carry i guess but i think it only works when you're not in a hurry i don't think we can just wrap this card and go because this will happen to the back of the card okay now with a little bit of struggle i put down their names and the color codes you can always see that paint on the back of the cards anyway okay now let's talk about the colors since the last time we were reviewing was also a korean watercolor so i'm gonna do a little bit of comparison so yeah let's see the equal alpha color and the mungyo color chip um yeah i think the mungyo color is a little bit darker compared to the alpha yeah i think it's it's pretty obvious the mungyo color is darker 
okay now let's talk about the color option we have here and as you can see some of the color names are just too simple like this um white just white okay then we have yellow ochre and yellow um just yellow so there are two yellows but they are muted and vibrant yellow not warm and cold yellow and over here we have orange yeah just orange although the colors really look like an orange so yeah okay next we have this permanent red glad it's not just red and light red i think it's look like more like a burnt sienna don't you think then they have this yellow green so yeah this is like the warm green and viridian yeah and cobalt blue i think this one is a warm blue and we have this cerulean blue but this one is also seems like a persian blue to me i don't know and then we have this permanent violet and a black the color choice are kind of like unusual for me but yeah let's compare this to the equal alpha again but yeah i think it's okay as long as we have all the primary colors here now to do wet on dry blending test as i said before i use more water on this they kind of look good but when i did it it kind of just feels different i mean it's not that hard to be blended but it's also not easy i guess okay i'm sorry i'm struggling to describe it but yeah i hope you understand that okay now to do wet on wet blending test i think the yellow and the reds are blended nicely but i barely see any granulation here maybe the ultramarine uh, i mean the cobalt and even the black is not that um granulating just the cobalt blue and the whites are kind of opaque here and lastly the glazing task i think we can see here again that it is darker compared to the alpha watercolor and i don't know if it's affecting the glazing or something yeah okay the white is lifting up everything as usual and the fibron color just glazed nicely but not with the um the darker colors yeah okay now to the conclusion and i think they're kind of okay if i'm not mistaken it only cost like two three thousand korean won in korea but it cost me six dollar and fifty cents in singapore and compared to the other watercolor i have it's not a pricey one so yeah basically we got what we paid for but again this watercolor is just so unique and just easy to be carried around we can just put it in our bag and here i'm trying to put this mungyo watercolor color chip into my um plant air bag some no um no let's try to put this over here um i tried to convince myself that this is actually easy to you know um carry it around but yeah, wh what am i doing here okay let's try to put this um back over here um i think i think we can do this it kind of feels like I tried to show you that this is compact and easy to bring along, but I ended up struggling myself to do this. Um, yeah, it, it worked like this. Although I, I don't really like it. Yeah, I, I took it out. Okay, another idea. Let's just put this back into the box. So here, I'm I even still struggling to put this back into the box. Okay, now, um, yeah, it's easier to carry this way okay so yeah enough struggling for today but i had fun anyway so okay that's it for now you can find more information on the description box below if you have any question or anything just let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching bye